are rattled by. Um, and for good reason, because a lot of the uh, proposals that he's made uh, display either ignorance of world affairs or uh, a cavalier attitude or um, uh, an interest in uh, getting tweets and headlines instead of actually thinking through uh, what it is that uh, uh, is required to keep America safe. That was President Obama earlier this week in Japan. He was talking about Donald Trump's presidential campaign. As Trump locks up the nomination, there are still a lot of questions on whether he can unify the Republican Party going forward. Joining me right now is Mississippi Senator Roger Wicker. He's also the chairman of the National Republican Senatorial Committee. Sir, good to have you on the program. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, it's great to be here. So do you think Donald Trump can unify the party? I do, and you know, I'm, I'm a senator who goes over and visits with House members I would try to do it uh, at least once a week. And uh, so uh, just yesterday I was visiting with a group of House members and it, it really it seems to me that uh, the party's coming together. We know Donald Trump is the nominee and uh, within the room there, there, there were people who had supported a variety of candidates. But uh, Donald Trump's uh, the nominee. Um, he is actually leading in the real clear politics uh, poll average right now. He's leading Hillary. Clinton and uh, we've seen some good poll numbers and and uh, think he's a potential winner. So, so Senator, are you supporting Donald Trump? Oh, absolutely. I, I made it clear uh, during the whole process I was going to support the nominee of the party. But uh, as soon as he became the presumptive nominee, that particular Wednesday when everyone else dropped out, uh, and then uh, I, I could comment about it as uh, as chairman of the senatorial committee. Uh, I made it very clear that uh, he's my man. I'm a Trump delegate to the, the National Convention in Cleveland. I, I want to go back to the comments that Obama made uh, from Japan in a minute. But, but let me stay on this, uh, this uh, point for a moment. Because we know that immigration and trade have been two issues that, you know, the, the, the divisions see very differently. Um, and we know that that's Donald Trump's platform, immigration and, and trade. Can you talk to us about where the common ground might be? Uh, between, you know, those who push back on something like TPP, like, like House Speaker Ryan, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, uh, and Donald Trump, who says, look, this is not going to happen, this is a failure, and it's taking jobs from Americans. Well, uh, let me tell you, I'm not overly delighted with the type of Trans-Pacific Partnership that the Obama administration negotiated. I, I'm for a trade agreement with our Pacific friends. I think it would, uh, it would be helpful to have agreements with the people that are competing against China might uh, uh, get, get China to be a better actor. Uh, you know, they're not part of the TPP. Right. Uh, I, think, I think Donald Trump's position is that we need trade. We just need to negotiate uh, good agreements, strong agreements uh, that preserve American jobs. So in, in personal conversations that I've had, that people like former trade representative Rob Portman have had, with Donald Trump, uh, I think there's more common ground there than uh, than you might think. Uh, he wants us to trade. Yep. Uh, he he just wants a good, strong agreement negotiated. Okay, so it sounds like you think there is common ground. Do I you do, have any sense yes. of when we will see Paul Ryan endorse Trump? Uh, no, but I do I do believe that the, the chairman of the convention is going to support the the presumptive nominee and. Uh, they're working through some issues, and, and uh, I think it's all good over there on, on the House side. That's from, from the conversations I'm having with my former brothers and sisters in, in the House of Representatives. Okay, let me, let me go back to something that we just heard from President Obama while he was in Japan this past week. And he said, look, world leaders are rattled, rattled by Donald Trump. Does this concern you? You know, it concerns me that the president would take a political message um, to an overseas forum like that. I, you know, I, I, can, I can just imagine how Ronald Reagan or, or even Bill Clinton would have answered that question as president of the United States. I think they would have probably said, look, I'm over here representing the American people. Uh, I'm over here uh, trying to engage in, in diplomacy. There's a time for political speeches, but uh, a, a press conference in a foreign country is not such a time. So uh, I, I think it's totally inappropriate 
for President Obama to be saying that sort of thing. Just like the other day, he was at a graduation speech. I mean, there are bound to have been independents, Republicans, and Democrats in that crowd, and yet uh, he starts making jokes ab about a potential nominee for president. I, I think his timing and his sense of when uh, it's appropriate to be political is uh, is very tone deaf. You know, it's interesting because th this is all about America right now. We're in an election right. year, obviously, and we know that right. Americans... He, he's over there representing you and me. Right, and, and we know that Americans are upset. They don't like the fact that their wages haven't moved and that they're afraid of, of, of people taking their jobs. I, I, I was thinking, imagine if there was an election in, I don't know, India or China or, or Japan, and, and uh, you heard the leader of those countries say, you know, America is really upset with all of this. We're, America right, is right. rattled. <laughs> you know, I, I, I could imagine people in India might have said, well, well so what? We're going to make our own decision about the future of our country. And let me just say this, Maria, uh, you know, but Donald Trump has surprised uh, a lot of people this year. And I think part of his appeal is that Americans see him as a strong leader that's going to stand up for America on, on an international stage. Sir, good to have you on the program. Thanks very much. Thank you so much.